Once upon a time in the vast kingdom of Nigeria, there lived three princesses, Adeze, Nkechi, and Ifoma. They were known throughout the land for their beauty, wit, and charm. However, they shared a common flaw. They were foolishly insensible to the true nature of love. Adeze, the eldest princess, was known for her stubbornness. She believed that love could be won through grand gestures and riches, that men are supposed to buy her plenty of gifts and show her in many interesting ways that they want her before she can consider them for marriage. Nkechi, the middle princess, was naive, always dreaming of a fairy tale romance straight out of the stories she had read. Lastly, Ifama, the youngest, was fiercely independent, convinced that she needed no one to complete her. Their father, the wise king of the land, is worried about his daughter's futures. He knew they needed guidance in the matters of the heart, so he summoned his most trusted advisor, a brave man named Obina. Obina was a noble warrior, respected by all in the kingdom for his courage and wisdom. When the king explained his concerns about his daughter's foolish comprehension of love, Obina quickly agreed to help. Obina decided to meet a princess differently, using his knowledge to their unique personality. For a daisy, he organized a grand tournament where suitors from across the kingdom would compete for her hand in marriage just to make her understand what love is all about. There were many men of different colors, shapes, and size. While the men show lavish display of strength and wealth, Obina whispered to a daisy, True love is not in the grandeur of events, but in the quiet moments shared between two souls. Nkechi, on the other hand, was captivated by the idea of a prince sweeping her off her feet. Obina, knowing her love for stories, decided to make a series of romantic gestures straight out of her favorite fairy tale. While he was talking to her about a beautiful story in her book, he took his time to explain to her that in each moment he reminded her, real love is not a fantasy, it's built on trust and respect and mutual understanding too. Lastly, for Ifoma who prided herself on her independence, Obina demonstrated the strength of vulnerability. He showed her that asking for help as a woman didn't weaken her, but rather strengthened the bond between two people. Love isn't about losing yourself, he said, but finding someone who compliments you perfectly. As Obina guided the princesses through their respective journey, they began to see the foolishness and craziness in their previous beliefs. Slowly but surely, they opened their hearts to the possibilities of true love. Many months passed as the princesses gradually changed their mindset. Men began to find them attractive. And so, each princess found her match. A daisy fell for a humble merchant who appreciated her for more than just her title. Ukechi found love in a kind-hearted son of a farmer who showed her that true happiness lays in the simple joy of life. Ifoma, to her surprise, realized that love wasn't a sign of weakness but a source of strength and found her soulmate in a fellow warrior. The kingdom rejoiced as the princesses discovered the true meaning of love. Thanks to the guidance of Obina, and as they celebrated their wedding, 
they knew that their happily ever after had just begun. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.